Well, emergency management is the fifth fastest growing profession in the United States right now. So no matter what sector you come from, if you wanted to return to that sector, there's probably an emergency management job for you. I suppose I wouldn't be here if it weren't for uh, September 11th. I've always had a strong desire to serve. I wanted to move up so that I would have more of a say in what goes on in the hospital in a disaster. Uh, I hope to take what I learned from here and bring it back to my hospital, to my community. Well, Metropolitan College, given its 40 plus year history of innovative learning, of sort of non-traditional methods of instruction and teaching, that alone gives us in the MPA program in emergency and disaster management a foundation to do things differently, to do things more experientially, so that when a student graduates, and even when they're still in the program and is doing their internships, they can take with them a very practical sense. So that makes it very unique. Students actually write an emergency operations plan. So by the time they graduate, not only do they know the theory, but they've also applied it to a specific setting, actually put it in motion, and then have been able to assess whether it worked or whether it doesn't work. I developed a, an emergency operation plan for my uh, precinct that I work at. It was actually an evacuation plan. I would like to maybe develop some programs within hospitals with, around the city. Everything that I produce for this program, I forward through my chain of command. They get to look at it, they'll sign off on it, they'll say, yes, this is good. So it's real, real interactive. So I'm really lucky that way to have that kind of really, really positive support from my chain of command. Their classes range in everything from public health preparedness, terrorism preparedness, economics of disasters and emergencies, research methods specific to disasters and emergencies, the planning issues that one faces in, in community planning and in industry planning, uh, private sector issues, if you were running a business or a large company, how do you respond in that sense to emergencies and disasters? How do you recover from them? So the scope of courses that one gets in this program covers the entire gamut of issues and, and obstacles that you would face in a day-to-day -day job as an emergency manager. Part of the emergency management program is a 10-day trip to Israel. Israel for me represents um, mystery, history, and conflict. And I think from an emergency response perspective, it's going to be a singular experience. I'm excited to see how the Israelis approach this whole thing. No, 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 no. To learn from the best. I'm very, very excited, and I'm very excited to be a part of this whole program. And I mean, this, this Israel trip and, uh, is the icing on the cake, I believe, for this whole thing. Best lesson I've learned is how to try to make sense of chaos, how to organize chaos in, uh, in a very practical way, and how to process lessons learned from other emergencies and disasters. It definitely has changed me. Um, I look at things more analytically, I would say, you know, and um, I look for new ways to try to tackle problems. It's pretty exciting. I, I, I love that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I'm always, I always want to be out there on that edge, so that's the best part of it. <laughs>